growing your business through the Quora flywheel. Hey there, friends. If you're not used to the term before, a marketing flywheel is a series of goals that you can only achieve through your targets or customers. It is different than a funnel in that it is not a series of steps that you need the customer to take, but a series of objectives that he can help you achieve, not to make a sale, but to grow your business or brand. A simple way to see a marketing flywheel is to think of it as a group of tasks or objectives that you have to complete to achieve mastery on a business or platform. The core of flywheel is formed by three objectives, which you have to work towards at the same time. Establishing Thought Leadership there is no way around the fact that Quora is a place to build authority. In fact, building authority is the marketing objective that is the easiest to achieve on Quora. And because of that, it takes top spot on the Quora flywheel. Quora's unique Q&A format, which limits interactions between users and contributors to engaging by sharing information, makes it the perfect platform for establishing yourself and your brand as a relevant source of information in your niche. The Quora flywheel dictates that you build thought leadership by taking the lead, which you can do by being the first to answer questions in the topics that you follow. Being the first to answer is not only important, but crucial to establishing thought leadership for two reasons. First, it determines your ranking. Because the Quora algorithm considers not only relevant and high-quality answers, but also level of engagement. As the algorithm sees it, if your account is fast to respond to queries on the platform and you get quick upvotes, then you are important to the site. Second, it increases your exposure tenfold. We explained before how important it is that you answer first because it helps you to cover all possible information in your reply. But it is worth adding that it puts your response on top. This means that your account is the first thing users will see when they check the question. Distributing content. Quora is a very good place to distribute content that can help you to increase your exposure. While you can't use Quora to distribute content the traditional way, you can use it to distribute content in the form of answers. We already walked you through ways to repurpose content from your blog on Quora, but we'd like to highlight that the flywheel dictates that you leverage each one of your answers to write content that is optimized for search. One of the greatest benefits of writing for Quora is that your answers are saved to the platform permanently. When you write answers that are optimized and evergreen, you'll get the same benefit you'd get from writing in your blog because they will be shown to people searching for the same keywords and terms in your answers. The Quora flywheel dictates that you dedicate a proportional amount of effort to Quora as you'd dedicate to your other channels. In other words, for every blog post, video, or long-form social media post that you create to distribute content, you have to find a Quora question that you can answer by repurposing the content that you just created. Increasing your reach with ads. Quora has its own native advertising solution. This is great news for both users and advertisers. Because it allows people to enjoy the site without having their experience interrupted by ads from external platforms. Now, one of the coolest things about this advertising solution is that it allows you to promote your answers or answers from other users. This provides you with great flexibility when it comes to increasing your reach, not only by promoting your own content, but also by leveraging social proof. This is especially useful after you've built thought leadership and brand awareness. For example, you can search for mentions of your brand in Quora, such as people reviewing your products or citing your content in answers. You can then boost these answers with an ads campaign. What's more, you can use audience targeting settings to select the type of user that will see the answers that you promote. This will not only help you to increase your reach, but to actually reach the type of user that is most likely to consume your content and buy your products.